Good afternoon. I'm going to do this at my desk, and I'm probably going to make a mess, but uh, that's okay. It's for a good cause here. So, um, TDS meters or PPM pins and pH meters or pH pins. Let me give you a couple of quick tips on them. How to use these meters. I don't keep anything stored in these meters or in the caps. You can calibrate these, and they, but they don't go out that often. If I'm suspicious that I'm having a, an issue and some of my numbers might be off because of some of the issues that are happening with the plant, I will, I will recalibrate or check the calibration on one of these. But other than that, I don't usually calibrate one of these or have any issues with these. Um, turn it on. It should read zero or one or whatever the meter that meter particularly is calibrated at. Immerse it. Never immerse it up any further than the cap itself fits. Never immerse anything more than the tip itself or you'll damage the meter. Take your reading. I'm at 66. I don't know if you can see that, but we're at 66, 65, 66. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that's out of a rain barrel that's getting cleaned this morning. <coughs> Other than that, that's all I do to these. Now, I just put this on there without rinsing it, and that's not what you want to do. You want to rinse this off before you use it, or you'll build up mineral deposits on there, and that will damage the meter itself. Other than that, that's all I do. Always store it in an upright position. I have a glass. That's actually like a mug that they just sit down into. And that's all I do for them. The pH meter or pH pen, I keep 70 calibration fluid in the bottom of this particular one because this is the one I'm using around here with the workings and stuff. So I calibrate it to 70. All right. They sell different types of calibration fluid, and you can calibrate to whatever whatever works for you or whatever you're working with. This is um pH down, citric acid. I don't think we're going to use this at this point. But um Turn your meter on, it should display whatever whatever you've calibrated or whatever calibration fluid is in here, which is 7.0. It should give you that display. All right. Again, never immerse the tip any further than where the cap fits, or you'll you'll ruin the electronics inside the pen itself. A little swirl with these won't hurt. It won't hurt to um move it around a little bit, swirl around till you get a consistent reading. This one should be around 6564 in the rain barrels. That's usually what they are. Six five, six six. It's getting calibration fluid in it. Is what's causing it to go up. But uh, anyway, six six. You can see that now. You should always rinse this off before you put it back in the cap. If you don't, you'll cross contaminate. Just like this, you'll cross contaminate. Now, let me show you what happens. Turn it off. Turn it back on. Seven two. See how that ruined the calibration of this pen just by touching into the, that water and putting it back into the pen. So anytime anybody that says, I don't need to calibrate my pen and they put it back in and out, in and out and out. Every time you do that, you're marking, you're missing a couple of numbers. You're off a couple of numbers. After four or five times of doing that, you could be off a lot, a lot. You might think you're feeding 6.1, but you might actually be feeding seven or five, four. All right. Pay attention to this part. That's the most important part of any of this. And they're simple devices, simple to use, but if just pay attention. If you're calibrating with 7.0, it should always be 7.0 at the beginning. If it's not, you need to recalibrate it. Again, anybody that says, I don't need to calibrate my pens, they're close enough, or longer within a couple of points, you're making big, big mistake. That will catch up with you and be costly. Very, very costly. All right? So... This will have to be dumped out, cleaned, recalibrated before it can be used again. Anyway, hope those tips will help you. They're very simple to use. Just practice for a few minutes with them. Get used to them. After a while, you won't have to calibrate them all the time and, and, and adjust them because you'll understand what's going on. You kind of get a feel for it. All right? Have a great day. Get out there and work in your garden.